Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. As you're getting your weekend started, it is expected to be a wet one to begin it, and then it's going to get cold in a hurry. We're talking about temperatures dropping almost 20 degrees below the average uh, time of the month. So you thought 80 degrees was sticking around? That is long gone, my friends. I'm sorry about warm weather uh, fanatics. Uh, it does appear that we've got some much colder air. It's going to be gripping much of the, about 90% of the U.S. It's going to be under some form of cold or winter precipitation. Uh, points uh, up towards uh, the Dakotas, Montana, even going to Wisconsin and Michigan even could see some snow uh, moving on in late this weekend. They expected somewhere between uh, two and about 18 inches of snow. That is just a wide variety. Uh, as far as from the Great Lakes all the way up to the Dakotas too. So for those of you who have family out towards west, you know, let them, you know, if they have a camera available, I want to see some snow photos because uh, I think at this point now we think we, we'd, we would be seeing snow and eh, no snow is expected anytime soon. So right now we have the remnants of Nicole that's going to be moving in tonight. That's going to be giving us uh, for our Thursday uh, a lot of a heavy rain uh, expected for most of our area. So we do need the rain. It has been abnormally dry, but we have been able to pick up some rain through the last several weeks thanks to a series of fronts that have moved through. Temperatures are not going to be budging as much as you just kind of see here tonight in our future uh, forecast. We will begin uh, to see that rain pick up later after 10, 11 o'clock. So any football games that will be going on will be wet or if they may get rescheduled. So stay tuned for any announcements from your local high school division. Temperatures again, like I said, not cooling off as much thanks to cloud cover and thanks to the rain that is in place. Temperatures steadily staying in the 50s. Here's the latest track of Nicole and let's a uh, bit of an interesting fact about the storm because not only has it been uh, a rare hurricane in the month of November, of course, we've had uh, two hurricanes now in the month of November. This is the only third time this has happened. Of course, uh, the last hurricane to hit Florida in November was back in the 80s. That was Hurricane Kate, uh, or Case. I think it's Hurricane Kate that was uh, back in the early 80s and 90s. So it's been a little while since Florida has seen her hurricane in November. Thankfully, it's now downgraded to a tropical storm. The first landfall was outside of the Bahamas earlier on Wednesday. The 3 a.m. landfall in Florida on Thursday. It is expected to make another landfall Friday morning, early Friday morning, along the panhandle of Florida along Tallahassee. So by that point, the storm will then weaken to a tropical depression as it'll be most likely making landfall. You kind of see we're right there in that cone of uh, the, vi the vicinity with it. And what's going to happen with that, there's a cold front coming in right here behind it. And what's going to happen, it's going to push the storm in the what's left of it out to sea. On top of that matter, again, uh, most likely falling apart at this moment in time. So right now, there's no other storms that are brewing in the open Atlantic or the Gulf of Mexico. So hopefully we can kind of start saying farewell to the season uh, because uh, it's beginning to be become more of a nuisance and more of a uh, severe concern. Speaking of the severe concern for Friday, as I told you already, we're going to see heavy rain moving on then. Again, the Storm Prediction Center has us highlighted under a small smidge of yellow right there. That is the potential we may see some spin-up activity moving on in our region. So the rest of this light green, this is general thunderstorms. The marginal risk there is a dark kind of looking green there. We are right there on the slim of that slight risk to almost marginal risk of severe weather for Friday. So the heavy rain is a best bet as well as the potential for spin up activity. The best opportunity for tornadoes will not be in our area, but it's not zero. It will most likely be here along the Carolinas and east as that storm is interacting with uh, some of the more warmer weather uh, that's expected as well. Parts of Savannah, Georgia, also going into Greenville, South Carolina, Charleston. Along the beaches here are most likely a high threat are gonna see any severe weather that will occur. So right now we are already to the gun for heavy rain and flash flooding. That's the primary concern 
uh, for this storm as our daytime highs for Friday. Veterans Day is looking to be a washout, so just keep that in mind as you're doing highs in the 70s out there as well. So uh, just keep in mind that again, the main concern uh, for Veterans Day Friday here in the city, uh, we've got events that are gonna be indoors because of this. So Luis is gonna be out and about tomorrow for your Veterans Day covering some stuff. Uh, coming up on the newscast, we'll see next week, uh, their highs again in the 60s uh, because of the cool weather that is in place for us. It is, excuse me, highs in the 70s. Because of the cool weather that is in, in place for us, we will see uh, not a much of a temperature duration uh, moving on in. But again, the main concern for Friday will be that chance of a possible spin up from any tropical moisture. And of course, uh, there's been several flood alerts posted for Patrick County as well that go until Saturday. So uh, for those wondering, uh, you keep an eye on your streams and creeks because one to two, maybe three inches is expected for a lot of our hometowns. Friday, Saturday morning, we'll see uh, mostly to partly cloudy skies. We'll see afternoon clearing, a little cool. So how about that? None of that 80 degree temperature. This is what's gonna be a big wake up call for us. Sunday, if you're going out to church or doing any activities, burr, it's going to be cold. Lows, highs in the 40s. So we're running about 15 to almost 20 degrees below normal. Our friends in Meadows and Dan and Patrick County can see highs in the upper 30s to low 40s. And it's gonna be breezy too. So a northwest breeze is gonna be out there feeling it much colder than what the air temperature is. Winds will begin to die down Sunday night it's going to be a brutal cold start to Monday morning. So for those of you who are trying to get up and go to work, I know a lot of our kids are getting ready for Thanksgiving break here in a couple of weeks. So uh, be patient students uh, as in time, and teachers too, as we're getting closer to that. Monday, we're not gonna be moving uh, up as much either. High is right around 49 degrees. Now the cold morning is expected for Tuesday. It does appear things get pretty active next week. We got cold air in place. We have precipitation out there. So we'll see what happens with that because of that a lot of chatter. I told you on your phones, you may be seeing that little mixed precip precipitation on there and uh, we'll see what happens if that if the cold air stays longer and the moisture catches up to it we may see a little potential of a little early wintery mix if not we'll most likely just develop into a cold rain uh, for for tuesday and again we'll slowly gradually get back up into the 50s but there's another cold air uh, possible moving in behind that from the henry county martinsville henry county christmas day parade and by the way is next saturday the 19th of uh, November. So uh, we'll be out there covering that for you. So join uh, Luis, uh, myself, Chad Hall, Shania Dalton, all of us out there uh, for the Christmas Parade next Saturday. That is scheduled for 5 p.m. Uptown Martinsville. So winter is definitely gonna feel like it on time for Christmas parades. And a lot of you all are wanting that cold air, or maybe not a lot of you, but for those who been wanting the cold air, it's coming. For those of you thought we're gonna see 80 degree temperatures, Nope, we're done with those for a while, it does appear, as we get ready to function into a wintertime pattern next week. So the flood threats out there for Friday, one to two inches, maybe three in some higher parts of our region. And again, the cold and winter-like air settles in for starting on Sunday. Take care, have an enjoyable weekend. We'll talk more next week. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.